Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm in Luminar 4 today, and I'm going to be talking about the portrait enhancement tools. Uh, I talked about them in a previous video, which I'll link up there. Had a lot of questions and comments. I'm going to try to answer some of those in this video. Also wanted to point out that the special price on the pre-order period for Luminar 4 is about to expire. So if you haven't got it yet and are interested, you can get it at the link down below. And note that it is an affiliate link. So if you purchase using that link, I make a small commission. Your cost is the same regardless, but it does help me out a little bit, and I appreciate that. And I'll continue to come back with more and more and more and more Luminar 4 videos, uh, as you can expect, or probably have come to expect. Um, but like I said, the price is about to go up, and um, so take advantage of it if you'd like to. And if not, that's cool too. I hope you enjoy the video. So portrait tools, let me jump into it. Here's a portrait. This is taken by my friend Robert Vanelli, as I mentioned to you in that previous video. He works for Skyloom on the education team. Great photographer, really great guy, super positive and all those kind of things. And he was very kind enough to allow me to use some of his portraits in my portrait video. So I have this one. Uh, that's why it says uh, copyright Vanelli. Uh, but I'll show you, let me just zoom in on her. And one of the things I wanted to do is just show you again how the tools work, but then I'm gonna get them um, and use them on some less professionally taken portraits. So I'll share that in a minute. Um, skin defects, um, it does remove things like some small blemishes and that sort of thing, to be honest. I don't think it's gonna do anything to her skin because it looks pretty uh, flawless. Um, however, skin enhancer, uh, as you drag that, you can see it does smooth out her skin. So if I can click the button, before and after, I think you can probably tell that. And then the portrait enhancer tools, face light, uh, as the name implies, does apply some light to her face. I actually think in this case you don't need it. You've got that nice side light coming in and adding additional light I think is just gonna make her, uh, that'll be the right side of her face, left side of what we're seeing, just makes it too bright, right? So there's you know too bright and normal. So I'm not gonna use that, but it works very well in isolating the face and applying light to it, which is a really helpful tool in portrait photography. I don't take a lot of portraits as you may know, but how many times have you taken portraits where you're like, oh, it's kind of dark in the face? That helps. Um, eye whitening, let me just drag that over, and you can see that immediately has an impact. Eye enhancer is really cool. It's almost like clarity. Um, it's adding what appears to be like some edge contrast. It just kind of crisps up the eyes. So I can drag that, and I don't know how well you can see, excuse me, in this uh, photo. But let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Uh, well, I can get a little bit closer. Let me see how that may have impacted the, fo uh, the photo, her eyes. So let see, before and after, you can tell now when I'm zoomed in, they're wider and they're crisper, right? So that's what that is about. Um, next is dark circles removal. Uh, I mean, she doesn't really have any, so that's not really gonna matter. Slim face, she doesn't need it, but you know, as the name implies, it will slim the face, so you can do that. And enlarge the eyes, same kind of thing. You can see how that impacts the photo. Again, doesn't need it. I mean, this is a professionally shot uh, portrait. And so, you know, studio lighting, all those kind of conditions that are under control, not to mention, you know, a, a nice looking model. So um, I, I will show you teeth whitening because that'll come in handy here. You can see that her teeth are wider. So there's before and after. And then the lip saturation, redness, and darkening. This is always a situation where I play with each of them individually because if you just start clicking these and dragging them over to the right, you can see that her lips get kind of a little too much kind of quickly. And I often find that it's not exactly perfect on the edges of the lips. So um, I use that sparingly and carefully. But what I wanted to do is show you some uh, more real world portraits. So let me hop into that now. Okay, here's a photo of yours truly. And the reason I have this photo, um, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and I'm sorry, you're gonna be seeing my face a lot in this video. But the reason I have this is because somebody asked me in that other one, hey Jim, what if the person's wearing glasses? And I thought, you know, that's a really good question. You know, will it impact the eyes and all those kind of things if the person's wearing glasses? And the truth is I didn't know because I hadn't taken any portraits of people with glasses because I don't take a lot of portraits. But then I realized, I had taken uh, some photos of, of myself um, as a uh, screenshot or whatever for one of my videos a long time ago. And I thought, ooh, I've got one of those somewhere, so let me go get it. So um, skin defects, I've probably got quite a few of those. I don't know if it's picking anything up in this video. Um, skin smoothing, yeah, I'm happy to look younger. That's always great. Uh, face light, uh, you can see that works really well. Red eye, I don't have. Eye whitening, here we go. I have on glasses in this photo, eye whitening. 
and boom. Now that's too much because they're getting like a glow, but you can see, I mean, I went from, you know, basically kind of darker eyes to uh, much wider eyes that's behind the glasses, so it does work. Eye enhancer, same thing. Let's click on that, and I don't know how well you can tell. I'm gonna zoom in again. I apologize having to look at me that close, uh, but there's before eye enhancer, and if I can turn it back on, there you go. That's after eye enhancer. Now keep in mind, um, I didn't say this, but this is just a, um, I think it's just an iPhone shot. Uh, yeah, it's an iPhone shot. Uh, oh, I could look at info, wouldn't that tell me? Apple iPhone 7 Plus. So yes, it's an iPhone shot. So low resolution, all that kind of stuff, keep that in mind. In other words, this is not a professional portrait, this is like a selfie, for lack of a better word, which I don't take, except apparently I did for this. Um, dark circle removal. Yep, it, it did, a, uh, did a pretty good job there as well. Again, behind the eyeglasses, so it's working there. Slim face, right? I'll be happy to have that. Enlarge eyes. Yeah, they got bigger, and they're pretty much mostly, except for the top of that one and the tiny bit of the top of that one, they're basically behind the glasses. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying the editing I'm doing is what I need to do to myself or what you should do to any photos that you take. These are just examples. And if I haven't said it yet in the video, I don't think I have, um, we're still in beta in Luminar 4, so what I'm showing you may change at launch. I don't know. Um, we're probably a month or so away from release, uh, but I wanted to continue to share these. Um, so the answer to the question, hey Jim, does this work if the person has on glasses? In the case of me wearing glasses and having a photo of myself, yes. I haven't tried it on any other photos because I don't have any other people uh, photos with glasses, but I thought this was a good example eyebrow improve. This one I want you to pay attention to because um, as I said in the previous um, video where I had a picture of myself like in, in uh, Wales, um, my eyebrows are pretty light. They're not really well defined. They're kind of thin, right? So you can tell that in the photo. The eyebrow improve, like on that model, if I'd have done eyebrow improve, it'll darken them up. But she had really crisp eyebrows, fairly dark already. And in those situations, I think eyebrow improve, at least in beta currently, works really well on that. For me, it's not working that well, but my eyebrows are, are not that well defined, not that thick. So let me show you what it does. If you look, it's actually darkening the skin like above my eye. So it appears to be a little bit confused. It doesn't appear to be catching my eyebrows. So there's before and there's, if I can, yeah, there's after, right? So before and after. Um, so not being accurate there. Um, not a big deal to me, I don't do a lot of portraits, but I think that's something to think about and you want to try that at launch to see if it's different. But um, really, you know, lightly colored eyebrows that don't have a firm, you know, defined uh, shape and that are pretty thin. And then, you know, not exactly, but they're fairly close to my skin tone. It's having a little bit of a challenge uh, figuring those out. So just FYI, uh, lips and all that, that works. There's no teeth. Uh, teeth whitening here. So I wanted to share that. I got a couple more photos of myself. Let me show you those as well as further examples. Okay, just an iPhone snap I took in my backyard earlier. Um, skin defects, and I, I know I'm making a face in the video or in the photo. I actually did that on purpose because I'm trying to see, hey, can it figure out my eyebrows and can it figure out my teeth and my face and all that stuff when, uh, you know, different lighting conditions. It's obviously not perfect lighting, much like the last photo of myself was just me in my office. Um, but this is outdoor. I got a little bit of shine on my forehead from the light. I'm making a facial, facial expression, not a controlled environment, all that stuff. So in other words, a real world condition where you actually might be taking a photo of your family or whatever, but skin defects. Um, I don't know if I noticed any skin defects, but hey, maybe I don't have any skin defects. Totally kidding. Um, I'm going to leave that unchecked. I didn't notice that it did anything. Skin smoothing, you can see it, it did a lot and that helps. I'll take it. Um, let's go into portrait enhancer. So face light. Yep, totally worked. I'm gonna turn it back down because I don't really feel like I need it. Um, eye whitening, let's take a look at that. Yep, eyes got wider. Yep, totally worked. And uh, eye enhancer, let's take a look at that. I do believe that got a little crisper. I'm gonna zoom in and I apologize. You're probably not gonna wanna look at my face that closely, but look at the eyes before and the eyes after, right? Crisper and wider, which are those two sliders, eye whitening and eye enhancer. One more time, before and after. Now I'm going to zoom back out to spare you uh, that kind of look. Um, dark circle removal, yeah, I think that's helpful and um, I could probably use it. Uh, slim face, where do you know that works, right? So there's that. Enlarge the eyes. 
Another reason I did this goofy expression is to see how eye enlargement worked when maybe the eyes are different. I think I had a question like that. Hey, what if somebody's squinting kind of with one eye and not with the other? Well, let's take a look at it. It, it worked on both. Now keep in mind, uh, you know, on, on the base photo, the eyes are different size and shape, right? Because of the expression. But even with the eye enlargement, um, it did enlarge both of them. Now, I think you gotta be careful with eye enlargement because if you go that big, uh, number one, I look like a, uh, what was that guy? Uh, Jack Elam, uh, if you remember from like 80s movies. Or worse, you're gonna end up looking like Gollum, right? You know, my precious. Um, and you don't want people to look like Gollum. Nobody wants to look like Gollum. So I'm gonna tone that down and tone down the slim face. I'm not trying to make Jim um, much different than Jim really is. Eyebrow improve. Here we go. This is the, the one I wanted to check out. Let's see that. And you know what? It did a better job here of getting a hold of my eyebrows. However, I will point out, if you look here, it's a little bit splotchy there, and it's a little bit darker. Let me show you the before and after. All right now, that's all the changes uh, in combination, uh, but it looks like it's picking up a little bit of shadow there on that. It is getting some of that eyebrow, so before and after, and it's getting some of this eyebrow here, but it looks to add some splotchiness there and a little bit more shadow under the eyebrow there. So again, before and after, but that close up, which I'm gonna remove so you don't have to stare at me that closely, um, you can see that my eyebrows, pretty light, pretty thin, pretty uh, undefined, like they're not a defining characteristic of my face, right? Um, I don't know that I have any, but you know what I'm saying, right? So before and after, so eyebrow improve works really well so far in my tests on, on those subjects where the eyebrows are pretty clearly defined. I, I'm not that way, so. Um, Lip saturation, redness, and darkening, right? I can do all that stuff. I don't really wanna get into that because I'm not here to look like I have lipstick on. So I'm gonna put those all back to zero. Um, teeth whitening, I do wanna do that, and I think that works some. Let's see, there's before, there's after. I think the teeth are definitely whiter. Turn that off, right? There's before, and there's after. It seems to be subtle. Um, part of my teeth are in shadow, right? Um, but let's see, let's look at the before and after. I definitely think it's a little bit of an improvement. It's not massive, but my teeth are not that prominent in the photo. And again, I, I did this goofy expression on purpose, trying to confuse the software to see how well it can figure out my eyebrows, my eyes being two different uh, kind of shapes, for lack of a better word, right? One kind of squinted, one not. My teeth kind of barely showing and that sort of thing. And I would say overall, it did a pretty good job. Now, this is not, uh, again, not a studio shot, not a professional model by any means. Um, but I think this is a real world kind of photo. And I think that gives you a good idea of the power of these portrait tools, which as I said, they're powerful, they're amazing. They kind of are mind blowing in many ways. Um, are they perfect? No, I mean, it's not picking up every single thing every time, uh, specifically around the eyebrows on me, but on other photos of people that have more defined eyebrows or perhaps uh, maybe light skin and darker eyebrows where there's more contrast between the two, it picks them up like that. So just some things I'm finding in my experimentation and test. But again, overall, really, really solid um, portrait enhancement tools, AI skin enhancer and portrait enhancer. I think they're working wonderfully well and uh, I hope you're excited about them. So there's before and after, and I'm gonna end the video because you are probably sick of looking at me. So. I do appreciate you watching. Again, the pre-order period is ending, so um, you know the price will go up um, from, from here on out. Uh, I think it's gonna be in the next day. Um, so check that out if you're interested, and if not, that's cool too. I hope the video is helpful and or possibly enlightening, no pun intended, on face lightning. Um, and that's it, my friends. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care, and adios.